gonna ride a roller coaster heading to the state fair. Relax, your friends are going, they're all gonna meet us there. We're eating cotton candy, oh, and bubble gum. Pink as the color, stain the tongue and have some fun. Meet me at the water slide, I'll be casting wishes. What's the date without a credit card and fancy dishes? Can you monetize a feeling of a night like this? If you can, I'm laughing to the bank, I'm cashing in. What's going on guys, Lawson here. So today, we're gonna be throwing a lot of small presentations right there. That is just a little two and a half inch minnow. And we got a few other little minnow imitation options that we're gonna be throwing. Right now, I've been noticing there's a lot of very juvenile greenies and minnows swimming around in the river everywhere. And so that is what we need to be imitating because a big snook will eat a little greenie and eat little glass minnows. If that's what's available to them, they'll crush them. You know, it's really, snook are very similar to bass in the sense where they're going to eat whatever forage is most available. And right now, that is small bait fish presentation. So that's what we're going to work on today. And hopefully we can catch some big fish. But, you know, typically when you throw a small presentation, you catch a lot of little fish. But like I was saying, when they're feeding on these bait fish and it's very prevalent bait, you can catch some big fish on them as well. But we're going to get throwing and get at it and see if we can get on some fish. There's a fish, nice one. Feels good. Feels real good. Oh. Oh. I'm powering on him. Get him away from these pilings here. I can't tell what this fish is right now. I'm assuming it's a snook, but it feels less big. It's right underneath the boat. Still can't see what this fish is. Oh, nice snook. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, stay buttoned. Stay buttoned, baby. Baby. Okay. Nice. Just like a 28 incher. Alright. I don't know if he's ready yet, but. Oh. He's hooked really weird. It's in the corner of his mouth, but like, it just looks bad. <laughs> oh, troll motor. Oh. Okay, we're gonna go for landing. Okay. There is a beautiful snook right there to start the day off. He's probably about 33 inches, I would guess. I'll put him on the tape here in a second, but I mean, just using that tiny little bait right there, he hammered it. I mean, just what a absolutely beautiful fish. I mean, truly, I, these are just my favorite fish in the world to catch. They fight hard. They are amazing, man. That's awesome. We're going to get them released here. We're going to turn his head right into the current and let him just breathe that current in and just float right with it. Already getting some juice back right there. Oh, my gosh. That scared the heck out of me, dude. He slammed down on my thumb. <laughs> I suppose that's a great way to start the afternoon right there. I've only been fishing for about 25 minutes. Very cool, man. Got me bleeding a little bit from uh, just rough mouth and holding them. But that was an awesome fish, man. And using this tiny little bait right here definitely works. I mean, it's really amazing how tiny baits can really catch big fish if that's what they're keying in on. And lately I've been noticing that there's been an abundance of glass minnows in the river and so the snook, the jack, the tarpon, everything is feeding on smaller presentations it seems right now. And when you see that kind of thing happening, make that mental note of, okay, I see what the fish are feeding on so I need to make that switch and start throwing them things like that. And we're just using a tiny little presentation right there. You know, this could be a minnow, this could be a tiny little pinfish, but small presentations can sometimes catch big fish if that's what they're keying in on. But that was an awesome way to start the afternoon. We are gonna retie, get going. All right, we have reset at the bridge, retied. We're gonna make another 
pass through here to see if there's any other fish hanging out. You know, I know there's other fish here, but seeing if there's any other fish who are wanting to eat as well. I'm very happy with that first fish start of the day. That is a really great fish. Start the day off right there for sure. But we're going to keep throwing, keep bouncing these little presentations around, see what we can make it happen. Oh my god, I just got freaking broken off by something right there. Damn. What was that about? Alright, so we put in some time on the bridge, caught one snook, and then had a few bites, but just didn't really connect with anything else. So now we are on to fishing some docks here. And just same deal though, we're going to be throwing this terrorize and just slow bouncing across the bottom. And if it doesn't seem like they want to eat on the bottom, which honestly snook almost always want to eat across the bottom, I have um, some other little minnow presentations that we might pick up today just for the sake of trying a few different things out for the video. And uh, we'll see if we can make it happen. There's a snook. <laughs> little one. Just a little guy here. Okay. Second fish right there, just a little snook, probably only 18 inches long or so, but I mean that's the thing, when you're using these little presentations, sometimes it gets big fish, sometimes it gets little fish. But I honestly, even little fish like that, if they eat it well enough, I will change my weeder on my bait even on little fish. And he ate that pretty deep. It's just crazy how abrasive the mouths of snook and tarpon are. It's, it's insane, really. All right, we've made a big change here. We're actually at an inlet, and we're gonna try fishing in the inlet for some big snook. You know, during the summer, they spawn in here, and typically, you kind of pretty much need to use live bait for them a lot of times, but you can catch them on artificial as well, but there's already probably 15 boats stacked inside the inlet right now, but I am guarantee every single one of them is using live sand perch or croakers or greenies of that sort. But we're gonna see if we can maybe hook up on artificial. I think that'd be cool. I'm still throwing terrorize, you know, we're just, Trying to use these small baits and see if we can make it happen. I can literally see about 45 snooks sitting right beneath me right now. And they're all reasonably sized in terms of could probably get one of them to bite. They're not the huge giant 40 inch females, but it looks like they're like, you know, 20, 30 inch males. There's like a 45 inch female sitting right over here that I can see. I'll see if I can let this roll to her. I just have zero faith that she'll eat this thing, but. You never know. All right, slowly running out of daylight tonight. You know, it's one of those weird days where I caught a nice fish really early on, and then the rest of the day has been just kind of slow, grinding it out like, all right, where's the next fish? Where's the next fish? And trying a bunch of different things. And it was cool going to the inlet, and I saw a bunch of really big spawning snook, and that might be something fun to do, but I don't like putting a lot of pressure on those fish, and they get a lot of pressure from people during the summer when they're trying to spawn. Sometimes nights like this, you just really want to appreciate just how beautiful it is, and it's just a perfect Florida summer night where you got a nice breeze, and so it's not too hot and it's just perfect caught a few nice fish or caught a nice fish and then a little one but we're gonna throw for a little bit more because we're about approaching the time to throw on some dock lights here and that is where this bait right here is really gonna excel you know the terrorize will work well too but this little minnow presentation should absolutely crush on dock lights because primarily what snook are feeding on on dock lights are glass minnows baby greenies and little shrimp that is like their primary forage around lights and so when you throw a presentation that's mimicking what they're eating you have a very high chance to get bit and so that's what we're going to try to do here and continue using these small little baits that we have but i think we can maybe hook one more fish before we call it a night but we'll see what happens but we're going to get at it fish get eaten. there's a the fish oh. I know the lighting's kind of terrible and so is the wind, but that's not a bad little dock light snooker. They're probably like a 24 inch one, but uh, I mean, I took maybe two casts on that dock and hooked up. So obviously this bait works really well, but we'll release him and uh, throw a few more casts. All right, back at the house. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. You know, it's really cool just actually seeing how effective these little presentations can be for some bigger fish and obviously you'll catch a lot of little fish using smaller presentations because pretty much little fish only eat small bait for the most part and then bigger fish kind of run the whole entire spectrum but you can still catch some decent sized fish on 
smaller presentations. I know people who've caught 40 inch snook on little crappy jigs and stuff like that. So you never really know what they're going to eat. But it was a cool day. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel or if you haven't already. Also, the music you're hearing in the beginning, that's one of my good buddies' bands, The Helmsman. Really good friends of mine. If you're into the music, I'll leave the link below and you can check it out. They're good guys. But uh, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time. Please. Stomach miles high, won't come down for nothing. All you wanna hear is teddy bear or bite you something. Sick and tired of the here and now, the present tense. Bring your blanket over, lay down, and we can picture it. in my